Ariana Grande Butera is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Her four-octave vocal range has received critical acclaim, and her personal life has been the subject of widespread media attention. She has received numerous accolades throughout her career, including two Grammy Awards, one Brit Award, two Billboard Music Awards, three American Music Awards, nine MTV Video Music Awards, and 26 Guinness World Records. Grand began her music career at age 15 in the 2008 Broadway musical 13. She rose to fame for playing Cat Valentine in the Nickelodeon television series Victorious and Sam and Cat. Grand signed with Republic Records in 2011 after label executives viewed YouTube videos of her covering songs. Her 1950s doo-wop influenced pop and R&B debut album, Yours Truly, topped the US Billboard 200, while its lead single, The Way, reached the top 10 of the US Billboard Hot 100. Grande's voice and whistle register on the album drew immediate comparisons to Mariah Carey. She continued to explore pop and R&B in her second and third studio albums, My Everything and Dangerous Woman. The former achieved global success with its singles Problem, Break Free and Bang Bang, the latter became her first of four consecutive number one albums in the UK. Personal struggles influenced her trap-infused fourth and fifth studio albums, Sweetener and Thank You, Next, both of which were critical and commercial successes. Sweetener won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album, and Thank You, Next broke the record for the largest streaming week for a pop album, and was nominated for Album of the Year. The singles Thank You, Next, Seven Rings, and Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored made Grand the first solo artist to hold the top three spots on the Hot 100 simultaneously and the first woman to succeed herself at the top of the UK singles chart. Her 2020 collaborations Stuck With You with Justin Bieber and Rain On Me with Lady Gaga helped her break the record for most number one debuts on the Hot 100, the latter winning the Grammy Award for Best Pop, Duo Slash Group, Performance. Grande's R&B focused sixth studio album, Positions, and its title track debuted at number one in the UK and US. In 2021, she had her sixth US number one single after featuring on the remix of The Weeknd's Save Your Tears. Often regarded as a pop icon, Grande is one of the world's best-selling music artists, she has sold more than 85 million records globally, and all of her studio albums have been certified platinum or higher. Among her Billboard chart records, she is the first artist and only woman to have five number one debuts, to chart three number one debuts in one calendar year, to debut the lead singles from each of her studio albums in the top ten, and to have their first five number one singles debut at top spot. Grand is the most streamed female artist ever, the most streamed female artist on Spotify and Apple Music, the most followed female artist on Spotify, and the most subscribed female artist on YouTube. She has been included on Time's annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world and the Forbes Celebrity 100. Grand was named Woman of the Year, the greatest pop star of 2019, and the most successful female artist to debut in the 2010s by Billboard. Aside from music, Grand worked with many charitable organizations and advocates for animal rights, mental health, and gender, racial, and LGBT equality. She became the most followed woman on Instagram in 2019, and has also ventured into the cosmetics and fashion industries. Chapter 1 – Early Life Ariana Grande Butera was born on June 26, 1993, in Boca Raton, Florida. She is the daughter of Joan Grande, the Brooklyn-born CEO of Hose MC in Communications, a manufacturer of communications and safety equipment, and Edward Botera, a graphic design firm owner in Boca Raton. Grand is of Italian descent, and has described herself as an Italian-American with Sicilian, and Obrutsese roots. She has an older half-brother, Frankie Grand, who is an entertainer and producer, and she has a close relationship with her maternal grandmother, Marjorie Grand. 
Her family moved from New York to Florida before her birth, and her parents separated when she was eight or nine years old. When her parents were Florida Panthers season ticket holders, she was accidentally hit on each wrist by errant hockey pucks on two different occasions in 1998, sustaining minor bruises both times. The second occurrence happened during the Panthers' inaugural regular season game, National Car Rental Center on October 9, 1998, in which she was also the first child to ever ride a Zamboni in the brand new arena during the first intermission, the result of her parents' $200 winning bid at an auction. A photograph of her on the Zamboni was featured in the South Florida Sun Sentinel the next day. At age 8, she sang the Star-Spangled Banner of the Panthers' home game against the Chicago Blackhawks on January 16, 2002. As a young child, Grand performed with the Fort Lauderdale Children's Theatre, playing her first role as the title character in the musical Annie. She also performed in their productions of The Wizard of Oz and Beauty and the Beast. At age eight, she performed at a karaoke lounge on a cruise ship and with various orchestras such as South Florida's Philharmonic, Florida Sunshine Pops, and symphonic orchestras. During this time, she attended the Pine Crest School and later North Broward Preparatory. Chapter 2, Career? Chapter 2 Section 1, 2008-2012, Career Beginnings and Nickelodeon. By age 13, Grand became serious about pursuing a music career, although she still concentrated on theater. When she first arrived in Los Angeles, California to meet with her managers, she expressed a desire to record an R&B album, I was like, I want to make an R&B album, they were like um, that's a hell of a goal. Who is going to buy a 14-year-old's R&B album? In 2008, Grand was cast as cheerleader Charlotte in the Broadway musical 13. When she joined the musical, Grand left North Broward Preparatory School, but continued to be enrolled, the school sent her materials to study with tutors. She also sang various times at the New York City Jazz Club Birdland. Dot Grand was cast in the Nickelodeon television show Victorious along with 13 co-star Elizabeth Gillies in 2009. In the sitcom, set at a performing arts high school, she played the adorably dim-witted Cat Valentine. She had to dye her hair red every other week for the role, which severely damaged her hair. The show premiered in March 2010 to the second largest audience for a live-action series in Nickelodeon, with 5.7 million viewers. The role helped propel Grand to teen idol status, but she was more interested in a music career, saying that acting is fun, but music has always been first and foremost with me. Her character was compared to Brittany Murphy's performance as the hapless tie in Clueless and described as being very impressionable and easily swayed but generally sweet. She also played Miriam in the musical Cuba Libre, written and produced by American songwriter Desmond Child. After the first season of Victorious Wrapped, Grand wanted to focus on her music career and began working on her debut album in August 2010. To strengthen her vocal range, she began working with vocal coach Eric Vetro. The second season premiered in April 2011 to 6.2 million viewers, becoming the show's highest-rated episode. In May 2011, Grand appeared in Grayson Chance's video for the song Unfriend You from his album Hold On Till the Night, portraying his ex-girlfriend. She made her first musical appearance on the track Give It Up from the Victorious soundtrack in August 2011. While filming Victorious, Grand made several recordings of herself singing covers of songs by Adele, Whitney Houston, and Mariah Carey, and uploaded them to YouTube. A friend of Monty Lipman, chief executive officer of Republic Records, came across one of the videos. Impressed by her vocals, he sent the links to Lipman, who signed her to a recording contract. Grand voiced the title role in the English dub of the Spanish-language animated film Snowflake, The White Gorilla in November 2011. From 2011 to 2013, she voiced the fairy princess Diaspro in the Nickelodeon revival of Winx Club. In December 2011, Grand released her first single, Put Your Hearts Up, which was recorded for a potential teen-oriented pop album that was never issued. 
She later disowned the track for its bubblegum pop sound, saying she had no interest in recording music of that genre. The song was later certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. On a second soundtrack, Victorious 2.0, released on June 5, 2012, as an extended play, she supplied vocals as part of the show's cast for the song Five Fingers to the Face. The third and final soundtrack, Victorious 3.0, was released on November 6, 2012, featuring grand duetting with Victoria Justice in the song L.A. Boys. A music video followed. In December 2012, Grand collaborated on the single version of Popular Song, a duet with British singer and songwriter Mika. After four seasons, Victorious was not renewed, with the finale airing in February 2013. Grand starred as Snow White in the pantomime-style musical theatre production A Snow White Christmas with Charlene Tilton, and Neil Patrick Harris at the Pasadena Playhouse. She played Amanda Benson in Swindle, a 2013 Nickelodeon film adaptation of the children's book of the same name. Meanwhile, Nickelodeon created Sam and Cat, an iCarly and Victorious spin-off starring Jeanette McCurdy and Grand. Grand and McCurdy reprised their roles as Cat Valentine and Sam Puckett on the buddy sitcom, which paired the characters as roommates who form an after-school babysitting business. The pilot aired on June 8, 2013, and the network immediately picked up the show. The next month, Nickelodeon doubled Sam and Cat's original 20-episode order for season 1, making it a 40-episode season. Despite its success in the ratings, the series was cancelled after 35 episodes. The final episode aired on July 17, 2014. Chapter 2 Section 2, 2013-2015, Yours Truly and My Everything Grand recorded her debut studio album Yours Truly, originally titled Daydream In, over three years. It was released on August 30, 2013, and debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 Albums chart, with 138,000 copies sold in its first week. Yours Truly also debuted in the top ten in several other countries, including Australia, the UK, Ireland, and the Netherlands. Its lead single, The Way, featuring Pittsburgh rapper Mac Miller, debuted at number ten on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, eventually peaking at number nine for two weeks. Grand was later sued by Minder Music for copying the line What We Gotta Do Right Here Is Go Back, back in time from the 1972 song Troglodyte by the Jimmy Caster Bunch. The album's second single, Baby I, was released in July. Its third single, Right There, featuring Detroit rapper Big Sean, was released in August 2013. They respectively peaked at number 21 and 84 on the Billboard Hot 100. Grand recorded the duet Almost Is Never Enough with Nathan Sykes of The Wanted, which was released as a promotional single in August 2013. She also joined Justin Bieber on his Believe Tour for three shows and kicked off her own headlining mini tour, The Listening Sessions. The following month, Billboard magazine ranked Grand at number 4 on their list of music's hottest minors 2013 an annual ranking of the most popular musicians under the age of 21. At the 2013 American Music Awards, she won the award for New Artist of the Year. She released a four-song Christmas, EP, Christmas Kisses in December 2013. Grand received the Breakthrough Artist of the Year Award from the Music Business Association, recognizing her achievements throughout 2013. By January 2014, Grand had begun recording her second studio album, with singer-songwriter Ryan Tedder and record producers Benny Blanco and Max Martin. The same month, she earned the Favorite Breakout Artist Award at the People's Choice Awards 2014. In March 2014, Grand sang at the White House concert, Women of Soul, in performance at the White House. The following month, President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama invited Grand again to perform at the White House for the Easter Egg Roll event. Grand released her second studio album, My Everything, on August 25, 2014, and debuted atop the Billboard 200. Its lead single, Problem, features Australian rapper Iggy Azalea, 
and premiered at the 2014 Radio Disney Music Awards on April 26, 2014. The song debuted at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100, and debuted at number 1 on the UK Singles Chart, becoming Grande's first number 1 single in the United Kingdom. The album's second single, Break Free, featuring German musician and producer Zed, peaked at number 4 in the United States. She performed the song as the opening of the 2014 MTV Video Music Awards, and won Best Pop Video for Problem. Brand and Nicki Minaj provided guest vocals on Bang Bang, the lead single from Jessie J's album Sweet Talker, which peaked at number 1 in the UK and reached number 3 in the US. With the singles Problem, Break Free, and Bang Bang, Brand joined Adele as the only female artist with three top ten singles, simultaneously on the Billboard Hot 100 as a lead artist. Brand was the musical performer on Saturday Night Live, with Chris Pratt as the host on September 27, 2014. That same month, third single from My Everything, Love Me Harder, featuring Canadian recording artist The Weeknd, was released and peaked at number seven in the United States. The song became her fourth top 10 single of 2014, the most by any artist that year. In November 2014, Grand was featured in Major Lazer's song All My Love from the soundtrack album for the film The Hunger Games, Mockingjay, Part 1. The same month, Grand released a Christmas song titled Santa Tell Me as a single from the reissue of her first Christmas, EP, Christmas Kisses. She later released the fifth and the final single from My Everything, One Last Time, which peaked at number 13 in the US. In February 2015, Grand embarked on her first worldwide concert tour, The Honeymoon Tour, to further promote My Everything, with shows in North America, Europe, Asia, and South America. Grand was featured on Kashmir Cat's Song Adore, which was released in March 2015. In the spring, she signed an exclusive publishing contract with the Universal Music Publishing Group, covering her entire music catalog. Brand also filmed an episode for the Fox Broadcasting Company reality TV series Knock Knock Live, but the show was cancelled before her episode aired. She also guest starred on several episodes of the Fox comedy horror television series Scream Queens as Sonia Herfman slash Chanel No. 2 from September to November 2015. She recorded the duet EPUT Penso with Italian recording artist Andrea Bocelli, which was released in October 2015 as the lead single from Bocelli's album Cinema, and covered the song Zero to Hero, originally from the animated film Hercules, for the compilation album We Love Disney. Brand also released her second Christmas, EP, Christmas and Chill in December 2015. Chapter 2 Section 3 2015 to 2017, Dangerous Woman. Brand began recording songs for her third studio album, Dangerous Woman, originally titled Moonlight, in 2015. In October of that year, she released the single Focus, initially intended as the lead single from the album. The song debuted at number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100. The next month, American singer Who Is Fancy released the single Boys Like You which features her and Megan Trainer. She was featured in the remix version of Over and Over Again, a song by English singer Nathan Sykes' debut studio solo album Unfinished Business, which was released in January 2016. Brand made a cameo appearance in the comedy film Zoolander 2 starring Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. In March 2016, Grand released Dangerous Woman as the lead single from the retitled album of the same name. The single debuted at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming the first artist to have the lead single from each of her first three albums debut in the top 10. The same month, Brand appeared as host and musical guest of Saturday Night Live, where she performed Dangerous Woman, and debuted the promotional single Be Alright, which charted at number 43 on the Billboard Hot 100. Brand garnered positive reviews for her appearance on the show, including praise for her impressions of various singers, some of which she had done on The Tonight Show. Brand won an online voting poll on Entertainment Weekly as the best host of the season. In May 2016, 
Brand appeared on The Voice season 10 finale, performing the second single from the album, Into You, which peaked at number 13 in the United States, and duetted with Christina Aguilera on Dangerous Woman. Brand released Dangerous Woman on May 20, 2016, and debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200. It also debuted at number 2 in Japan, and at number 1 in several other markets, including Australia, the Netherlands, Ireland, Italy, New Zealand and UK. Mark Savage, writing for BBC News, called the album a mature, confident record. At the Summertime Ball at London's Wembley Stadium in June, Brand performed three songs from the album as part of her set. In August, Brand released a third single from the album, Side to Side, featuring rapper Nicki Minaj, her eighth top ten entry on the Hot 100, which peaked at number four on that chart. Dangerous Woman was nominated for Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album, and the title track for Best Pop Solo Performance. In August 2016, Grand performed a tribute to the late Whitney Houston on the season finale of the ABC television series Greatest Hits and headlined the opening night of the second annual Billboard Hot 100 Music Festival, performing a nearly hour-long set of her own songs. Aside from music, Grand filmed a commercial for T-Mobile that premiered in October 2016 and played Penny Pingleton in the NBC television broadcast Hairspray Live, which aired in December 2016. The same month, Brand and Stevie Wonder appeared on the season finale of the US competition TV series The Voice, performing their collaboration Faith from the soundtrack of the 2016 animated film Sing. Faith was nominated for Best Original Song at the 74th Golden Globe Awards. At the end of the year, Brand participated in the Jingle Ball Tour 2016. Brand recorded the title track of the soundtrack for the 2017 live-action remake of Disney's 1991 animated film Beauty and the Beast. The recording was released as a duet with American singer John Legend in February 2017. The same month, Brand embarked on her third concert tour, The Dangerous Woman Tour, to promote the related album. On April 27, 2017, Norwegian DJ Kashmir Kat released the fifth song Quit from his debut album Nine featuring Grand Dot on May 22, 2017, her concert at Manchester Arena was the target of a suicide bombing, a shrapnel-laden homemade bomb detonated by an Islamic extremist as people were leaving the arena. The Manchester Arena bombing caused 22 deaths and injured hundreds more. Grand suspended the remainder of the tour and held a televised benefit concert, One Love Manchester, on June 4, helping to raise $23 million to aid the bombing's victims and affected families. The concert featured performances from Grand, as well as Liam Gallagher, Robbie Williams, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus and other artists. To recognize her efforts, the Manchester City Council named Grand the first honorary citizen of Manchester. The tour resumed on June 7 in Paris and ended in September 2017. In August 2017, Grand appeared in an Apple Music Carpool Karaoke episode, singing musical theatre songs with American entertainer Seth MacFarlane. In December 2017, Billboard magazine named her Female Artist of the Year. Chapter 2 Section 4, 2018-2019, Sweetener and Thank You, Next. Brand began working on songs for her fourth studio album, Sweetener, with Pharrell Williams in 2016, but the events in Manchester gave a hard reset to the project's expectations. Brand released No Tears Left to Cry as the lead single from Sweetener in April 2018, with the song debuting at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100 making Grand the only artist to have debuted the first single from each of her first four albums in the top ten of the Hot 100. In June 2018, she was featured in Bed, the second single from Nicki Minaj's fourth studio album Queen. The second single, God is a Woman, peaked at number eight on the Hot 100 and became Grande's tenth top ten single in the US. Released in August 2018, Sweetener debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and received acclaim from critics. 
She simultaneously charted nine songs from the album on the Hot 100, along with a collaboration, making her the fourth female artist to reach the ten-song mark. Grand gave four concerts to promote the album, billed as the Sweetener Sessions, in New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, and London between August 20 and September 4, 2018. In October 2018, Grand participated in the NBC broadcast, A Very Wicked Halloween, singing The Wizard and I from the musical Wicked. The following month, the BBC aired a one-hour special, Ariana Grande at the BBC, featuring interviews and performances. In November 2018, Grand released the single Thank You, next and announced her fifth studio album of the same name. The song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Grande's first chart-topping single in the United States, spending seven non-consecutive weeks atop. Since then, it has been certified five times platinum in the United States. The song's music video broke records for most watched music video on YouTube, within 24 hours of release and fastest Vivo video to reach 100 million views on YouTube, both of which were later surpassed by other artists. On Spotify, it became the fastest song to reach 100 million streams and most streamed song by a female artist in a 24-hour period, with 9.6 million streams, before being surpassed by her own song Seven Rings. Later the same month, Grand released, in collaboration with YouTube, a four-part docuseries titled Ariana Grande, Dangerous Woman Diaries. It shows behind-the-scenes and concert footage from Grande's Dangerous Woman tour, including moments from the One Love Manchester concert, and follows her professional life during the tour and the making of Sweetener. The series debuted on November 29, 2018. She became the most streamed female artist of the year. In January 2019, it was announced that Grand would be headlining the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival, where she became the youngest and only the fourth female artist ever to headline the festival. It took place April the 12th to the 14th and April the 19th to the 21st. Grand brought a number of guest artists to perform with her, including NSYNC, P. Diddy, Nicki Minaj, and Justin Bieber. Her set has received critical acclaim. Grande's second single from Thank You, Next, Seven Rings, was released on January 18, 2019, and debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the week of February 2, becoming her second single in a row to top the charts. It made Grand the third female artist with multiple number one debuts after Mariah Carey and Britney Spears and fifth artist overall after Justin Bieber and Drake. The song broke several streaming and recording industry records. Spending eight non-consecutive weeks at number one, it became Grande's most successful song on the chart and one of the best-selling singles worldwide. Thank You, Next was released on February 8, 2019, and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 while receiving acclaim from critics. It broke the records for the largest streaming week for a pop album and for a female album, in the United States with 307 million on-demand streams. Grand became the first solo artist to occupy the top three spots on the Billboard Hot 100 with seven rings at number one, her third single Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored debuting at number two, and her lead single Thank You, next rose to number three, and the overall second artist to do so since the Beatles did in 1964 when they occupied the top five spots. In the United Kingdom, Grand became the second female solo artist to simultaneously hold the number one and two spots and the first musical artist to replace herself at number one, twice consecutively. In February 2019, it was reported Grand wouldn't attend the Grammy Awards after she had a disagreement with producers over a potential performance at the ceremony. Grand ended up earning her first Grammy, for Best Pop Vocal Album, for Sweetener. The same month, Grand won a Brit Award for International Female Solo Artist. She also embarked on her third headlining tour, the Sweetener World Tour, to promote both Sweetener and Thank You, Next which began on March 18, 2019. Grand was nominated for nine awards at the 2019 Billboard Music Awards, including Top Artist. 
she would win two awards for Billboard Chart Achievement and Top Female Artist on May 1, 2019. Brand performed at the event via a pre-recorded performance from her Sweetener World Tour. In June 2019, Brand announced that she co-executive produced the soundtrack to the film Charlie's Angels, a collaboration with Miley Cyrus and Lana Del Rey, titled Don't Call Me Angel, was released as the lead single on September 13, 2019. It was later nominated for Best Original Song, at the 24th Satellite Awards. In August, 2019, she released a single titled Boyfriend with pop duo Social House. Brand co-wrote singer Normani's debut solo single Motivation, which was released on August 16, 2019. Brand won three awards at the 2019 MTV Video Music Awards, including the Artist of the Year Award. She was nominated for 12 awards in total, including Video of the Year for Thank You, Next. Brand was featured on the remix of American singer and rapper Lizzo's song Good As Hell, which was released on October 25, 2019. By the end of the year, Billboard named Grand the most accomplished female artist to debut in the 2010s, while NME named her one of the defining music artists of the decade. She also became the most streamed female artist of the decade on music streaming service Spotify. Also, Forbes ranked her amongst the highest paid celebrities in 2019, placing at number 62 on the list, while Billboard ranked her as 2019's highest paid solo musician. Chapter 2 Section 5, 2020 Present, Positions In January 2020, Grand received multiple nominations at the 2020 iHeartRadio Music Awards, including Female Artist of the Year. The following month, she made a guest appearance in the second season of the American television series Kidding, which stars Jim Carrey. Grand and Justin Bieber released a collaboration song titled Stuck With You on May 8, 2020. Net proceeds from the sales of the song were donated to the First Responders Children's Foundation in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. The song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Grande's third chart-topping single. Alongside Bieber, both artists tied Mariah Carey and Drake for the most songs to debut at number one on the Hot 100, Brand is the first artist to have her first three number ones debut at the top, following Thank You, Next and Seven Rings. Brand also released a collaboration with Lady Gaga, Rain On Me, as the second single from Gaga's sixth studio album Chromatica. The song also debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Grande's fourth number one single and helping Grand break the record for the most number one debuts on that chart. The song won the Best Pop Duo Slash Group Performance category at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards. In 2020, Grand became the highest earning woman in music on Forbes's 2020 Celebrity 100 list, placing 17th overall with $72 million. At the 2020 MTV Video Music Awards, she was nominated for nine awards for both Stuck With You and Rain On Me. For the latter, Grand received her third consecutive nomination for Video of the Year. She won four awards, including Song of the Year for Rain On Me. Grande's sixth studio album, Positions, was released on October 30, 2020. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, becoming Grande's fifth number one album. The eponymous lead single was released on October 23rd. It debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming Grande's fifth chart-topping single and breaking numerous records. Grand became the first artist to have five number one debuts on the Hot 100 and the first to have their first five number ones debut at the top. Positions became her third number one single in 2020 following Stuck With You and Rain On Me, making Grand the first artist since Drake to have three number one singles in a single calendar year and the first female artist to do so since Rihanna and Katy Perry in 2010. Alongside the release of Positions, the song from the album 34 plus 35 served as the second single off the album. The song debuted at number 8, becoming Grande's 18th top 10 single. 
Grand released a 34 plus 35 remix featuring American rappers Doja Cat and Megan Thee Stallion on January 15, 2021. The remix helped the song reach a new peak at number 2, the highest charting song credited to three or more female soloists on the Hot 100 since Christina Aguilera, Maya, Pink and Lil Kim's Lady Marmalade in 2001. The remix was one of five additional tracks included on the deluxe edition of Positions, released on February 19, 2021. Grand was named the most played artist on iHeartRadio's stations in 2021, reaching 2.6 billion in audience. On October 14, 2020, it was announced that Grand would star alongside Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, and Meryl Streep in Don't Look Up. The film was released on the streaming service Netflix, on December 24, 2021. To promote the film, Grand released the song Just Look Up, in collaboration with rapper Kid Cudi, on December 3, 2021. At the 27th Critics' Choice Awards, Grand received nominations in the categories Best Song and Best Acting Ensemble, as a part of the cast. She also received a nomination at the 28th Screen Actors Guild Awards for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture November 13, 2020, Grand made a surprise appearance on the Adult Swim Festival, performing alongside music artist Thundercat, performing his song Them Changes, which Grand had previously covered. Grand and Jennifer Hudson also featured on a remix of Mariah Carey's 2010 Christmas song Oh Santa. The song was released on December 4, 2020, as part of Mariah Carey's Magical Christmas special. Grand released the concert film for her Sweetener World Tour, Excuse Me, I Love You, on December 21, 2020, exclusively on Netflix. In March 2021, Grand had signed on as a coach of the 21st season of The Voice. Grand became the highest-paid coach in the show's history, earning a reported $25 million per season. In April, Grand featured on Demi Lovato's single Met Him Last Night, and on a remix of The Weeknd's, Save Your Tears, released on April 23. The remix reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming both artists' sixth number one single. She joined Paul McCartney, as the only artists to earn three number one duets on the Hot 100. Grand and The Weeknd performed Save Your Tears together at the 2021 iHeartRadio Music Awards. In June, Grand featured on the song I Don't Do Drugs from Doja Cat's third studio album Planet Her. Her contribution as a songwriter and featured artist on the song earned Grand a nomination for Album of the Year at the 64th Annual Grammy Awards. Grand performed virtually as the headline act of the Rift Tour on the video game Fortnite from August 6 to 8, 2021. The concert attracted 78 million players, beating Travis Scott's record of 11.7 million views for his own concert. In November 2021, it was announced that Grand would play Glinda for the upcoming film adaptation of the musical Wicked, directed by John M. Chu and starring alongside Cynthia Erivo, who will play Elphaba. Chapter 3, Artistry Chapter 3 Section 1, Musical Style and Genres Grande's music is generally pop and R&B with elements of EDM, hip-hop, and trap, the latter first appearing prominently on her Christmas and chill extended play. While consistently maintaining pop R&B tones, she has increased incorporation of trap into her music as her career has progressed thanks to her work with record producer Tommy Brown. She has worked with Brown on every album and stated that one of the things I love most about working with Tommy is that none of the beats he plays me ever sound the same. Brand learned how to sound engineer and produce because she loves being hands-on during every project, and revealed that Mac Miller taught her how to work with Pro Tools. Justin Tranter, a recent collaborator, felt inspired to see how involved Grand is in her music from the writing to the vision to the storytelling and to even engineering and comping her own vocals. She has co-written several of her songs addressing a wide variety of themes such as love, sex wealth, breakups, independence, empowerment, self-love and moving on from the past. Grande's debut album, 
yours truly was complimented for recreating the R&B vibe and feel of the 90s with the help of songwriter and producer Babyface. Her follow-up, My Everything, was described as an evolution from her debut record with a new sound exploring EDM and electropop genres. She followed her pop R&B sound on her third album, Dangerous Woman, which was praised by the Los Angeles Times for adapting to different styles with the reggae pop side to side, the dance pop influenced Be All Right, and the fusion of guitar and trap in Sometimes. Her trap pop sound is heavily featured on her fourth and fifth studio albums, Sweetener and Thank You, Next. Elias Light of Rolling Stone believes with her new album Sweetener, she set her sights on conquering trap, savage bass lines and jittery swarms of drum programming. She also embraces the sound of hard-bit and southern hip-hop exploring elements of funk music with themes of love and prosperity. Craig Jenkins of Vulture wrote that Grand had changed and approached her style to trap and hip-hop, filled with R&B undertones on Thank You, Next, with lyrics about breakups, empowerment, and self-love. Her sixth album, Positions, expands on the R&B and trap-pop sound of Sweetener and Thank You, Next, with topics about sex and romance. Chapter 3 Section 2 Influences Grand grew up listening mainly to urban pop and 1990s music and says that Over the Rainbow was one of the first songs she remembers singing because Wizard of Oz was always my favorite movie when I was younger. Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston are her biggest vocal influences, I love Mariah Carey. She is literally my favorite human being on the planet. And of course Whitney as well. As far as vocal influences go, Whitney and Mariah pretty much cover it. Alongside Carey and Houston, Grande's other key influences include Celine Dion and Madonna. She reflects on her childhood by posting videos of herself singing songs from Dion's 1997 album Let's Talk About Love on her social media. Grand credits Madonna for Pav the Way for Me and also every other female artist and admitted to being obsessed with her entire discography. She credited Gloria Estefan with inspiring her to pursue a music career, after Estefan saw and complimented Grande's performance on a cruise ship when she was eight years old. Grand praised Imogen Heap's intricate song structure and named Judy Garland as a childhood influence, admiring her ability to tell a story when she sings. Musically, Grand admires India Ari because her music makes me feel like everything is going to be okay and loves Brandy's songs because her riffs are incredibly on point. Destiny's Child and Beyonce are also major influences and inspirations in her career. She has also expressed admiration for rappers who impact the music industry without a planned release date, telling Billboard, My dream has always been to be, obviously not a rapper, but, like, to put out music in the way that a rapper does. I feel like there are certain standards that pop women are held to that men aren't, it's just like, brah, I just want to, drop the way these boys do. It inspired her to release Thank You, next without any prior announcement, which the ringer called more of a Drake move than an Ariana Grande move. Chapter 3 Section 3, Voice Grand is a light lyric soprano, possessing a four-octave vocal range and a whistle register. With the release of Yours Truly, critics compared Grand to Mariah Carey because of her wide vocal range, sound and musical material. Julian Escobedo Shepard of Billboard wrote that both Carey and Grand have the talent to let their vocals do the talking, that's not where the similarities end, Grand is subverting it with cute, comfortable, and on-trend dresses with a feminine slant. Grand responded to the comparisons, tease a huge compliment, but when you hear my entire album, you'll see that Mariah's sound is much different than mine. Stephen J. Horowitz of Billboard wrote in 2014, with her sophomore album, The Problem Singer No Longer Resembles and That's Okay. Mark Savage of BBC News commented, Grand is one of pop's most intriguing and gifted singers. A magnetic performer with unrivaled vocal control. In the New York Times, John Perellis wrote that Grande's voice can be silky, breathy or cutting, swooping through long melismas or jabbing out short R&B phrases, it's always supple and airborne, never forced. 
Composer and playwright Jason Robert Brown addressed Grand in a 2016 Time magazine article, No oh matter how much you are underestimated, you are going to open your mouth and that unbelievable sound is going to come out. That extraordinary, versatile, limitless instrument that allows you to shut down every objection and every obstacle. Chapter 4, Public Image Grand cited Audrey Hepburn, as a major style influence in her early years of fame, but began to find emulating Hepburn's style a little boring as her career has progressed. She also drew inspiration from actresses of the 1950s and 1960s, such as Anne Margaret, Nancy Sinatra, and Marilyn Monroe. Grande's modest look early in her career was described as age-appropriate in comparison to contemporary artists who grew up in the public eye. Jim Farber of the New York Daily News wrote in 2014 that Grand received less attention for how little she wears or how graphically she moves than for how she sings. That year, she abandoned her earlier style and began wearing short skirts and crop tops with knee-high boots in live performances and red carpet events. She also began regularly wearing cat and bunny ears. In recent years, she began wearing oversized jackets and hoodies. Grande's style is often imitated by social media influencers and celebrities. After years of dyeing her hair red for the role of Cat Valentine, Grand wore extensions as her hair recovered from the damage. And T. Donahue of MTV News noted that her iconic high ponytail has received more attention than her fashion choices. Although Grand drew criticism for alleged impolite interactions with reporters and fans in 2014, she dismissed the reports as weird inaccurate depictions. Rolling Stone wrote, Some may cry diva, but it's also grand just taking a stand to not allow others to control her image. In July 2015, Grand sparked controversy after being seen on surveillance video in a donut shop licking donuts that were on display and saying I hate Americans. I hate America. This is disgusting, referring to a tray of donuts. She subsequently apologized, saying that she is extremely proud to be an American, and that her comments rather referred to obesity in the United States. She later released a video apology for behaving poorly. The incident was parodied by the Muppets and featured in Miley Cyrus's Saturday Night Live cover of My Way, about the regrets of the summer of 2015. Grand herself poked fun at the incident while hosting Saturday Night Live in 2016, saying, a lot of kid stars end up doing drugs, or in jail, or pregnant, or get caught licking a donut they didn't pay for. In 2020, she said that she stopped doing interviews for a while out of fear that her words would be misconstrued and she would be labeled a diva. Grand has a large following on social media. As of July 2021, her YouTube channel has over 45 million subscribers and her music videos have been viewed a total of over 19 billion times, her Spotify profile has amassed over 65 million followers, making her the second most followed artist and most followed female, her Instagram account has over 255 million followers, making her the third most followed individual and second most followed female, her Twitter account has over 80 million followers, making it the seventh most followed account. Her Facebook page has over 40 million followers, and her TikTok has 26.3 million followers. In May 2021, Visual Capitalist ranked Grand as the world's top female social media influencer. Chapter 5, Achievements All of Grande's full-length albums have been certified platinum or higher by the RIA. Having amassed 90 billion streams thus far, Grand is the most streamed female artist ever, she is also the most streamed female artist on Spotify and Apple Music. Grand has won two Grammy Awards, one Brit Award, nine MTV Video Music Awards, three MTV Europe Music Awards and three American Music Awards. She has received 22 Billboard Music Award nominations and won two in 2019, including Top Female Artist. Grand has won eight Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, including one in 2014 for Favorite TV Actress for her performance on Sam and Cat, and three People's Choice Awards. In 2014, 
she received the Breakthrough Artist of the Year Award from the Music Business Association and Best Newcomer at the Bambi Awards. She has won six iHeartRadio Music Awards and 12 Teen Choice Awards. She was named Billboard Women in Music's Rising Star in 2014, and Woman of the Year in 2018. As of 2021, Grand has broken over 20 Guinness World Records by achieving most songs to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 with five songs at the top of the charts. Across albums, singles and features, Grand has been certified for 85.5 million units in the US, and she is the fifth highest certified female digital singles artist, with 63 million total units certified by the Recording Industry Association of America. Grand is also certified for 20.4 million units in the UK. Grand has broken numerous Hot 100 records. Grand has a total of 16 top 10 debuts thus far, beginning with her first single The Way, the lead single from each of her first five studio albums have debuted in the top 10, making her the only artist to achieve this. In 2020, she became the first act to have her first five number one singles, Thank You, Next, Seven Rings, Stuck With You, Rain On Me, and Positions debut at number one, that year, Grand also broke the record for the most number one debuts. Grand would also become the first artist to have three singles debut at number one on a single calendar year. She later broke the record for most simultaneously charting songs on the top 40 of the Hot 100 for a female artist with the release of her fifth studio album, Thank You, Next, when 11 of the 12 tracks charted within the region. The three singles from Thank You, Next, Seven Rings, Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored, and Thank You, Next charted at numbers 1, 2, and 3 respectively on the week of February 23, 2019, making Grand the first solo artist to occupy the top three spots of the Billboard Hot 100 and the first artist to do so since the Beatles in 1964. With her album Thank You, Next, Grand set the record for the largest streaming week for a pop album and for a female artist, with 307 million on-demand audio streams. As of May 2021, Grand has 71 entries on the Hot 100, becoming the fourth female artist with the most Hot 100 entries. In 2016 and 2019, Grand was named one of Time's 100 most influential people in the world. In 2017, Celia Almeida wrote an article for Miami New Times and believes that of all the biggest pop stars of the past 20 years, Grand has made the most convincing transition from ingenue to independent female artist. In 2020, Bloomberg named Grand the first pop diva of the streaming generation. Grand was also placed on Pitchfork's list of the 200 most important artists of Pitchfork's first 25 years, stating, after a period of horrific tragedy, Grand retreated and reset, eventually emerging with music that pushed her artistry further as it asserted a magical trifecta of hope, joy, and a powerhouse voice. Thank you, next was included in Rolling Stone's 2021 revision of their 500 greatest songs of all time. In 2021, Grand ranked 78th on Billboard's greatest of all time Hot 100 artists. Chapter 6 other Ventures Chapter 6, Section 1, Philanthropy and Activism At age 10, Grand co-founded the South Florida youth singing group Kids Who Care, which performed at charitable fundraisers and raised over $500,000 in 2007 alone. In 2009, as a member of the charitable organization Broadway in South Africa, she and her brother Frankie performed and taught music and dance to children in Glethew, South Africa. She was featured with Bridget Mendler and Kat Graham in Seventeen magazine in a 2013 public campaign to end online bullying called Delete Digital Drama. After watching the film Blackfish that year, she urged fans to stop supporting SeaWorld. In September 2014, Grand participated at the charitable Stand Up to Cancer television program, performing her song My Everything in Memory of Her Grandfather, who had died of cancer that July. Grand has adopted several rescue dogs as pets and has promoted pet adoption at her concerts. In 2016, she launched a line of lip shades, 
Ariana Grande's MAC Viva Glam, with MAC Cosmetics, the profits of which benefited people affected by HIV and AIDS. In 2015, Grand and Miley Cyrus performed a cover of Crowded Houses Don't Dream It's Over as part of Cyrus Backyard Sessions to benefit her Happy Hippie Foundation, which helps homeless and LGBT youths. Later that year, Grand headlined the Dance on the Pier event, part of the LGBT Pride Week in New York City. As a feminist, Grand wrote a well-received, empowering essay on Twitter decrying the double standard and misogyny in the focus of the press on female musicians' relationships and sex lives instead of their value as an individual. She noted that she has more to talk about concerning her music and accomplishments rather than her romantic relationships. In 2016, e-writer Kendall Fisher called her a feminist hero. That year, Grand joined Madonna to raise funds for orphaned children in Malawi, she and Victoria Monet recorded Better Days in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. To aid the victims of the Manchester Arena bombing in 2017, Grand organized the One Love Manchester concert and re-released One Last Time and her live performance of Over the Rainbow at the event as charity singles. The total amount raised was reportedly $23 million, and she received praise for her grace and strength in leading the benefit concert. Madeleine Roth of MTV wrote that the performance bolstered courage among an audience that desperately needed it, returning to the stage was a true act of bravery and resilience. In 2017, New York Magazine's Vulture section ranked the event as the number one concert of the year, and Billboard's Mitchell Harrison called Grand a gay icon for her LGBT-friendly lyrics and performances and support for the LGBTQ community. In September 2017, Grand performed in a concert for Charlottesville which benefited the victims of the August, 2017 white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. In March 2018, she participated in March for Our Lives to support gun control reform. Grand donated the proceeds from the first show in Atlanta on her Sweeten the World tour to Planned Parenthood in a response to the passage of a number of anti-abortion laws in several states including Georgia. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Grand donated between $500 and $1,000 each to a number of fans as financial support. Grand also supported a COVID-19 fund named Project 100, which aimed to provide $1,000 digital payments to 100,000 families who have been greatly impacted by the pandemic. In May 2020, Grand announced that all net proceeds from her collaboration with singer Justin Bieber, Stuck With You, would be donated to the First Responders Children's Foundation to fund grants and scholarships for children of frontline workers who are working during the global pandemic. That month, Grand joined a Los Angeles protest against the murder of George Floyd, demanding justice and asking fans to sign petitions condemning the act of police brutality. She highlighted white privilege and called for more activism outside social media. In December 2020, Grand, and Scott and Brian Nicholson, her choreographers and friends, launched Orange Twins Rescue, an animal rescue center based in Los Angeles. In the same month, Grand surprised kids, who spend the holiday at children's hospitals in LA and the UK, with gifts from wish lists at the UCLA Mattel Children's Hospital, and the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital. In June 2021, Grand, along with a dozen other celebrities signed an open letter to Congress to pass the Equality Act highlighting the act would protect marginalized communities. In the same month, Grand partnered with the online portal BetterHelp, and gave away $2 million worth of therapy to fans. Chapter 6, Section 2, Products and Endorsements In October 2014, Grand joined the bottled water brand Wetar as an equity holder and partner. In November 2015, she released a limited edition handbag in collaboration with Coach. In January 2016, she launched a makeup collection with MAC Cosmetics, donating 100% of proceeds to the MAC AIDS Fund. In February 2016, Grand launched a fashion line with Lipsy London. Later that year, she teamed up with Brookston, using the concept art of artist Wen Ching Yen, to design cat ear headphones. In 2017, 
Grand collaborated with Square Enix to create a character based on herself for the mobile game Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Grand was a limited-time unlockable character as part of the Dangerous Woman Tour event, which also included an orchestral remix of Grande's song Touch It, the character, Dangerous Ariana, is a magical support character who uses music-based attacks. In September 2017, she became a brand ambassador for Reebok. In August 2018, she partnered with American Express for the Sweetener Sessions, a partnership which continued through the Sweetener World Tour in 2019, alongside T-Mobile. In March 2019, she partnered with Starbucks for the launch of the Cloud Macchiato beverage. In May 2019, Grand was announced as the face of Givenchy's fall winter campaign. The campaign began in July and generated $25.13 million in media impact value. Beats, Samsung, Fiat, Reebok, and guest products have been featured in Grande's music videos. She has appeared in commercials for Macy's, T-Mobile, and Apple, as well as for her own fragrances. Grand has released eight fragrances with Lux Brands. She launched her debut fragrance, Ari by Ariana Grande, in 2015. In the wake of its success, she launched her second fragrance, Sweet Like Candy, in 2016. Her third fragrance, Moonlight, was released in 2017, her latest fragrances, Cloud, Thank You, Next, R.E.M., God is a Woman, launched in 2018, 2019, and 2020, respectively. The collection also included the limited editions Frankie, Sweet Like Candy Limited Edition, Thank You, Next 2.0, and Cloud Intense. The fragrances won the Fragrance Foundation Award multiple times, most recently with REM in 2021. Since its launch in 2015, the franchise has made $750 million in retail sales globally. In November 2021, Grand launched her makeup line, REM Beauty. Chapter 7, Personal Life Chapter 7 Section 1, Health and Personal Beliefs Grand has said she struggled with hypoglycemia, which she attributed to poor dietary habits. She also suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder and anxiety after the Manchester Arena bombing, she nearly pulled out of her performance in the 2018 broadcast A Very Wicked Halloween due to anxiety. Grand has also said she has been in therapy for over a decade, having first seen a mental health professional shortly after her parents' divorce. Grand was raised Roman Catholic but abandoned the church during the pontificate of Benedict XVI, opposing its stance on homosexuality and noting that her half-brother Frankie is gay. She and Frankie have followed the teachings of Kabbalah, a branch of Jewish mysticism, since she was 12. She said that they believe the basis lies in the idea that if you're kind to others, good things will happen to you. Several of her songs, such as Break Your Heart Right Back, are supportive of LGBT rights. She has also been labeled an advocate for a sex-positive attitude. In November 2019, Grand endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders' second presidential bid. Chapter 7 Section 2 – Relationships Grand met actor Graham Phillips in the cast of the Broadway musical 13 in 2008 and dated him until 2011. She dated English singer Nathan Sykes between August and December 2013, and then dated rapper Big Sean from October 2014 to April 2000, and 15. After recording The Way with Mac Miller in 2012, the two began dating in 2016. They collaborated on the single My Favorite Part, released in September 2016 on Miller's album The Divine Feminine. Their relationship ended by May 2018. That September, Miller died from an accidental drug overdose, Grand expressed grief over his death on social media, and called him her dearest friend. In May 2018, Grand began dating actor and comedian Pete Davidson, and they became engaged the next month. They called off their engagement and ended the relationship in October 2018. Grand began dating real estate agent Dalton Gomez in January 2020. Their relationship, while mostly private, 
was made public in the music video of her and Justin Bieber's charity single Stuck With You. Brand announced their engagement on December 20, 2020, after 11 months of dating. On May 15, 2021, they married in a private ceremony at her home in Montecito, California, where she wore a custom Vera Wang dress. Her wedding pictures became the most liked Instagram post by a celebrity, with over 25 million likes. Chapter 8, Filmography Snowflake, The White Gorilla Underdogs Zoolander 2 Mariah Carey's Magical Christmas Special Ariana Grande, Excuse Me, I Love You Billie Eilish, The World's a Little Blurry Don't Look Up Chapter 9, Stage Chapter 10, Discography Studio Albums Yours Truly My Everything Dangerous Woman Sweetener Thank You, Next Positions Chapter 11, Tours Chapter 11 Section 1, Headlining The Listening Sessions The Honeymoon Tour Dangerous Woman Tour Sweetener World Tour Chapter 11 Section 2, Promotional The Sweetener Sessions Chapter 11 Section 3, Opening Act Justin Bieber, Believe Tour